Today, let's talk about some Legends characters that are pretty cool. They're very ruthless dark side warriors. And maybe we'll see them in the Ahsoka show. I know they like to take inspiration from old characters and put them in the new stuff, so who knows? Today, we're going to talk about the Krath Warriors. These were a faction of Force users that emerged during the time of the Old Republic. The Krath were part of the Sith who sought to overthrow the Jedi Order and establish their own rule over the galaxy. They were led by the Dark Jedi Alima Keto and her brother Satal Keto, who were descendants of the ancient Sith Lord Exar Kun. They were known for their use of dark side magic, and this is why I think that maybe we could see someone like them or them in the Ahsoka show, as we're going to divulge more in Sith magic, alchemy, and magic in general in Star Wars. Now, their magical abilities particularly focused on the power of illusion and deception and to control and manipulate their enemies, which is very powerful. The Krath warriors gained a significant following and established a stronghold on the planet of Empress Teta, which they renamed as the Krath Holy City. From there, they launched attacks on nearby planets, expanding their territory and power. Their reign of terror was eventually ended by a coalition of Jedi, Republic troops, and local rebels, who mounted a successful assault on the Krath Holy City. Alima and Satal were captured and brought to justice, effectively putting an end to the Krath warriors. Despite their defeat, the legacy of the Krath warriors continued to influence later Sith factions and their use of dark side magic. Now, these Krath warriors first appeared in Tales of the Jedi, the comic book series published by Dark Horse in the mid-1990s. Specifically, they were introduced in the Dark Lords of the Sith storyline, which ran from 94 to 95 and chronicled the rise of the Sith Empire during the Old Republic era. The Dark Lords of the Sith storyline was written by Tom Veitch and Kevin J. Anderson, who I interviewed on the channel, with art by Christian Gossett and Mike Barrero. The storyline introduced a number of new characters and factions to the Star Wars universe, including the Krath Warriors, and was well received by fans and critics. They were known for their distinctive armor, which was designed to enhance their physical abilities and protect them in battle. They wore a helmet that covered their entire face, which added to their fearsome reputation. In addition to their use of dark side magic, the Krath warriors were skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and weapons training. They often wielded vibroblades, energy shields, and blaster pistols in battle, making them a very powerful force to be reckoned with. They also had a strict hierarchy with Alima and Satal Keto, at the top as the leaders of the faction. Beneath them were the Krath warlords and generals who commanded their armies and executed their soldiers. While the Krath warriors were ultimately defeated, their legacy lived on in the Star Wars universe. The tactics and techniques that they used were studied by later Sith factions, including the Sith Empire that emerged during the Old Republic era and the Sith Lords that rose to power during the time of the Galactic Empire. In the end, the Krath warriors were a reminder of the dangers of the dark side of the Force and the destructive power that it could unleash if left unchecked. Their defeat served as a cautionary tale for those who would seek to use the Force for personal gain or to control others, and their story continues to be studied by scholars and historians in the Star Wars universe. One last interesting fact about the Krath warriors that I'm going to leave you with is their connection to the ancient Sith Lord Exar Kun. Now, Exar Kun, of course, was a Jedi Knight who turned to the dark side and became a Sith Lord, eventually leading a crusade against the Jedi Order themselves. After his defeat, Exar Kun's spirit was trapped on the planet Yavin 4, where it was discovered by Alima and Satal Keto. They were able to use the dark side of the Force to resurrect his spirit and gain his knowledge and power, which they used to strengthen the Krath warriors. The connection these warriors had to Exar Kun highlights the importance of the Sith's history and mythology in their ideology. The Sith draw upon the teachings and traditions of their predecessors, building upon them to create their own legacy. Overall, the Krath warriors were a significant faction in the Star Wars universe in the Old Republic, representing a very unique blend of dark side magic, physical prowess, and technological sophistication. While their reign was short-lived, and not many people know about them today, their impact was felt for years to come shaping the course of Sith history and influencing the development of later Sith factions. Hope you enjoyed today's video about the Craft Warriors. Let me know who else you want me to cover and make a video on from Legends. Have an awesome rest of your day. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.